Only one of these toroids is good for an NFED half wave, but can you tell me which one? If you can't, don't worry, because I couldn't either. But today I'm going to show you how, and I'm going to tell you a little bit why. Right now on Ham Radio, dude. As I mix these up, I want you to think about this. Just put yourself in the shoes. You know, you're a new ham, right? And you go to a ham fest and you're looking for toroids so you could build your first NFED half wave. You're really getting excited to go experiment in things and, and really learn a little bit more. And uh, the guy assures you that, yeah, these are, son, these are, these are toroids that are good for NFED half waves. You could build a thousand watt NFED half wave with these four things. And you're like, man, I want them. So you buy them, you get them home and you build the NFED half wave. You think you do it to the specs and your NFED half wave sucks. Why is that? Uh, well, you're thinking, man, I just can't do anything right. And you perhaps didn't think about the fact that not all toroids are created the same. And this is a great example because these all look relatively the same, but there's a huge difference. I want to just talk about real quick, RF grade toroids are typically made of nickel zinc, okay? And uh, nickel zinc is great because it has uh, infinite or near infinite resistance, right? And then there's other types of toroids like uh, made for power supplies, U-cores, or basically toroids that are made of magnesium zinc, and they have more resistance. So perhaps the secret all along was is you can test your toroids to see which one has resistance and which ones don't register on a multimeter, and then you'll know if you have the right toroids for the job. I want to just kind of point out that if you have a multimeter that has the knob on the front, and you could switch different ohm value readings. You don't know what the core is made of, whether it's uh, nickel zinc or magnesium zinc. What you might do is you might start at 2M ohms and then work down to 200K ohms, down to 20K ohms and so forth until you get some kind of reading. As I mentioned, uh, with nickel zinc RF grade, you're gonna see infinite resistance or near infinite resistance. So if you're on the 20K ohm section and, and you see some kind of reading around 20K ohms, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's RF grade nickel zinc, uh, but uh, ultimately what we should see is no reading at all. So let's go through these here. This toroid right here has 155K ohms. What that's telling me is that this is probably used for RFI suppression. It's probably, uh, again, magnesium zinc core. 113 K ohms, again, probably magnesium zinc core. And this is why it's important to buy your toroids from a known source. You just go on eBay. Yeah, you're probably good if you have a reputable seller on eBay, but like that was 180 core, but like some guy you don't even know um, and he has no feedback. Maybe, maybe you're gonna get ripped off. And this has no register, right? So maybe I'll flip it over and just make sure. No register. So this is the T1, no, T2 4043 toroid. This one is made of nickel zinc and this is RF grade. So if I was building an NFED half wave and I was trying to use all of these, this would be the only one that would be properly uh, efficient for an NFED half wave. Now, again, these would be for stuff like noise suppression, you know, but uh, hey, that was pretty much it in a nutshell. You have these four toroids that look nearly identical and uh, the guy at the flea market rips you off, but now you know a little bit better to say, hey, my NFED doesn't work and it's because he sold me some garbage, you know, ferrites. And they're not actually garbage. They're just not for the right use. Different materials for toroids, even if they look the same. And that equates to different resistance levels and whether or not they're useful for your project. In a nutshell, I'm Ham Radio, dude. Thanks for checking out the channel. I hope you enjoyed this and 73.